Hi, welcome to Seal Club's Book Reviews. Today I'm going to be talking about the book called The Pretty Girl Killer, written by Andrew Byrne. Enjoy! Pretty Girl Killer, written by Andrew Byrne. This is a non-fiction true crime story and I read this one as a, a proper copy. It was a damaged, ripped copy from the bookshop I used to work at, so it didn't have a front or back cover. <laughs> But it still had all the pictures and everything inside and this was my take so the genre of the book is non-fiction true crime crime mystery and australia and america sort of genres in there how does the book compare with other books in the genre so i've only read a handful of non-fiction true crime books from the few that i've read this is one of the best admittedly i tend to not finish the non-fiction books if they do not absorb me at the very start so the fact that i finished it meant that i found it interesting to put it blankly really and how does it match up to your expectations of that genre so to be completely honest I enjoyed this book more than I thought I would every time I read a true crime book from start to end I seem to get this shocked feeling true crime books are fascinating in a completely shocking and horrible way they can be scarier than the scariest horror book simply because they are real stories Yet once I start to read a good true crime book, I cannot seem to stop. So the summary for this book. This is the story of Christopher Wilder, the surf-loving son of a decorated naval war hero born in the suburbs of Sydney, who became the most wanted man in America, a psychopathic serial killer who slaughtered more than 16 young women in the USA and is the prime suspect in the infamous Australian, Australian Wanda Beach murders. So he's been... <laughs> all over the map really. Wilder was handsome and charming and time and time again he managed to convince beautiful young women that he was a fashion photographer looking to help them start a career in modelling. What followed were some of the most brutal sadistic crimes that the world has ever seen as well as a years-long police operation dogged by missing opportunities and bad decisions to track the killer down. Featuring new evidence unearthed from case files and interviews with FBI agents, witnesses and survivors, some of whom have spoken for the first time since the horrendous crimes were committed, The Pretty Girl Killer takes us right into the mind and moment of one of Australia's most heinous experts. So the analysis, the plot and the theme is pretty straightforward as to find out his life and what happened when he was active. So. The plot for the book is to report on the life of the infamous killer Christopher Wilder from his very beginning as a young boy until his death by gunshot wound at 39 years of age. The theme for this book is to educate the reader on the life of Christopher Wilder. It is to show what some people are capable of, capable of and to inform people on what really happened during the reign of his serial, the serial killer. Andrew Byrne illustrates the life of Christopher Wilder through this fascinating true crime book. At some points, the technical mumbo-jumbo did get a bit tedious and some chapters seemed to drag, but as the book is of a true event, it cannot all be fast-paced and packed with action. So that's my take on the pacing. So the motion ending and plot holes. So the strong emotions of shock, horror and disgust I felt while reading this book caused me to pause and pick up a different, lighter book for a short period of time. There cannot really be plot holes in a book about true events. However, there are some incredibly frustrating people throughout the story I wish had a few more brain cells in their thick heads. Yes, I got quite passionate about, um, about that. The ending covers the death of the killer, wrapping up his killing spree. Unfortunately, this 352 page book does not have the ability to provide or express satisfying endings for all of his victims and their families. And then the main characters. So up in the top, we have Christopher Wilder, um, one of his mugshots. So he was arrested or held quite a few times, but he always seemed to get away. There was always something, a loophole that he was able to squeeze through. And down the bottom, we have a few pictures of some of his victims. So it's not all of them. That's only nine there, but he... There's 16 confirmed cases and potentially more as well. So Christopher Wilder, he's not just known as the pretty girl killer. He's also known as the beauty queen killer and the snapshot killer. So he has different names in different places in America and in Australia, which I found quite fascinating because you think, oh, there's three different people there. Nope, it's all him. 
So one of three suspects in the Wanda Beach murders. That was really fascinating at the start of this book. They outlined why they thought it was him and it did make quite a lot of sense. It really did. So I would say one of three suspects. He's quite a strong suspect there in my opinion. But then again, there could be quite strong um, information about the other two that I don't know of. So March 13, 1945 to April 13, 1984 was when he was alive. He is an Australian-American serial killer, born in Sydney, Australia, moved to Bonton Beach, Florida in 1969. Somehow Wilder avoided jail time for his many crimes. He was he performed a six-week cross-country crime spree beginning in early 1984. And he killed at least eight confirmed female victims on this crime spree. He is suspected to have killed many more. So that's a bit different to what I said. I was going off memory there. But yeah, um, the nine victims here, one of them was actually, I can't remember which one I'm afraid, one of them actually escaped alive and it was pretty much the only victim that ever got away. The recommendation. So for those out there that enjoy watching crime shows like Law and Order, Criminal Minds and Bones, or listening to true crime podcasts like Case File, Film, Female Killers and Unsolved Murders, you may enjoy this book. This book gripped me from the start, leaving me in a daze of amazed horror at the events that took place in both Australia and America. And then my review. So if you're a fan of a well-written true crime book or true crime books, then you would most likely enjoy this book. This book covers the amazing and horrendous life of Christopher Wilder as he tries to run from the law. I did give the book three out of five stars sort of like the other true crime book I reviewed. It doesn't have too much rereadability. Also, it can be quite slow because it's based on true events, so sometimes it was hard to get through. And I did have to occasionally pause and read something else before I could come back to it. None of that means it wasn't good. So three is still, I liked the book. <laughs> um, four is when I really, really liked it. And five is, oh wow, I can't put it down. So three is still really a good review. I was quite impressed by this book and recommend it to people who like to read True Crime. There you go. So thank you for watching my book review on The Pretty Girl Killers. Let me know what you think. Thank you. Bye.